Hi guys, it's me, Clem from Wonder Words, and today I'm going to share with you my September wrap-up and book haul and my Oxop TBR. First, let's start with the month of September. Um, actually, it was a shitty month because I ended up reading only one book and so it's it's not good, like it's not good at all. Like, I'm so late in my Goodreads challenge, but I don't know if I'm going to succeed it, I think I'm going to fail this year my, my Goodreads challenge and I don't like that. But I bought three books and it's really good, like it's really good books and I'm super happy to have them. First I bought War Cross by Mary Lou, it's the new books by Mary Lou who came out in September. It's one of my most anticipated releases for 2017 and I absolutely wanted to have it, like I'm super happy to have it, it's super beautiful. Moreover, I have a UK edition, so here it's all rainbowy and it's so beautiful, like I love it. And it sounds really good, like it it has something to do with video games and I don't know, I'm super excited for this book and I can't wait to read it. Next we have another book that's one of my most anticipated releases for the end of the year and it's The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. Uh, so it's actually a collection of fairy tales that uh, the children in the Grisha world would have here when they were children and this book is absolutely beautiful like I bought it when I came to you to England because it was like a comfort book because I wasn't really feeling really great so I bought it and um, there's illustration in it who are absolutely beautiful like really really there I'm going to show one for them to you like, Look at that, have you seen how beautiful it is? Like I love it, it's it's so good, like and it's and the story sounds amazing, so I can't wait to read it also. And last but not least, the last day of September I bought Stars Above by uh, Marissa Mia. So it's a companion to the Lenar Chronicles, it's basically it's it's a collection of short stories that have been in the Lunar Chronicle universe. And yeah, I wanted to have it in this edition and I found it like it was there at Waterstone so I bought it because I wanted to buy a book. Like I was in Waterstone with Sarah and I wanted to buy a book so I took this one and now I have it. I have all the Lunar Chronicles book. Now let's get to the book I read this this month. And so this month I read, the only book I read was The Ferris by Marissa Mia and it's the companion to the Lunar Chronicles and basically it tells the story of Levana and what happened before, like what was the story and it's absolutely awful. Not the story, uh, not the book, but the story of Levana is awful, like she's a bitch and I hate her. Uh, I think I gave it a 3.5 out of 5 stars, not because it wasn't good, just because it's Levana and I hate her and so I couldn't really enjoy the book like uh, I should have. But it was really really good and Marissa Mayer is completely crazy because this character is like insane and she has so much, so, much, so much imagination, like, it's it's amazing. Now let's get to my very, very, very optimistic uh, October TBR. So this month I am planning on reading five books, which is way too much, especially when I have uh, books to read for class. And so I'm not, I'm never going to read those five books, but I'm still going to mention them to you and do this like I'm really optimistic even though I know it's never going to happen but still I'm uh, yeah so first since it's the month of Halloween I want to read something a little bit spooky and or something like that so I picked uh, The Language of Forms by Liv Bardugo I think it's a good thing to read now because it's fall and I love reading fairy tales and fairy tales in form and in the Halloween month sounds amazing like it sounds really good um so on for this. So yeah, I'm going to read this tale and what's good is that I can read a tale and then read something else so I don't have to read the whole book like just like that. I can do breaks in between fairy tales. Next we have War Cross by Mary Lou. I mean I have to read it like it was one of my most anticipated releases for the year and now I have it. I have to read it and everybody's loving it so I really 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 need to read it by now. Like I want to read this. Like as soon as I finish I will have finished winter I will pick this one and I read it. Like it's my plan. I at least I need to have read this book like at the end of October. It's it's my plan actually, like it's what I want to do for October. I've been reading this. Next up we have Air of Fire by Sarah Jamas. Actually my plan is to read uh, one Sarah Jamas each month until uh, the end of the year. 
so in January I will be able to read Tower of Dawn and finally be on track for the series, especially that uh, I really want to read Tower of Dawn, I don't know why. Maybe because Jenny and Sarah kind of liked it and stuff happened and I can't talk about that with uh, with them because I'm still has to read the third one and yeah. But it's a really long book. I'm sure I'm never going to read it but still I put it on my TBR so we'll see. Next up we have The Armor of Thor which is the second book in the Magnus Chase trilogy by Rick Riordan. Actually you know that at first my plan for this trilogy was to was that I had to read it before uh, the new full movie comes out, which is at the end of October. But I still haven't read the second one and I need to read the third one, so we can say that I'm going to fail, like I'm never going to be able to do it. But still I want to read it and I think I'm we are read it this month, I'm not sure. But yeah. And last but not least, we have City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, and it's that time that I start my reread of Cassandra Clare, The Mortal Instruments. Like, I was supposed to start it in, in August and like, it's been two months and I still haven't read it, so I need to read it this month. Like, really, really, I want to read it this month, actually, I want to read some Mortal Instruments stuff. And I'm just also going to mention that maybe I will read another spooky, really spooky book. I don't know which one, like, maybe there's someone inside your house, house by Stephanie Perkins or the book 10, but I don't know who is the author of this book, but really something really scary and spooky for Halloween, like in a quick read, because let's face it, I can't read like a huge book, like it's not possible. Okay guys, so that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you did don't forget to like and share this video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. If you read or plan on reading any of the books I mentioned, go Go leave a comment down below and tell me what you thought about the book. Like I would love to know. And yeah, I will tell you, I will see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.